What's up guys, it's Doll Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Fat Electrician video. So this one is Black Hawk, the most versatile helicopter ever. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with the Black Hawk, right? Uh, uh, made famous by Black Hawk Down, I guess, kind of. <laughs> People probably knew what it was before that. I think that was my first interaction with it, but I would have been pretty young at the time. The movie's been around forever. When did the movie... That's got to be like in the late, late 90s. But anyway... Link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. All right, I think this is my 99th video and somehow we have not talked about this yet. So today we're turning with the most iconic helicopter of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Black Hawk. This just seem quieter than normal. It is a twin engine medium lift helicopter crewed by two pilots and two crew chiefs. Capable of lifting 8,000 pounds and has a max speed of 222 miles an hour. If you don't know how fast miles an hour are because your country didn't invent helicopters, or, or flight as a whole, really, <laughs> or cell phones for that matter, or, or the internet, or really all of the train. Uh, actually, the, well, I was going to say the internet was invented by the British, but technically that kind of, it's, it's kind of a gray area, but the Brits, yeah. Transatlantic communication cabling, the Panama Canal, machine guns. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. If your country's <laughs> never been to the moon because you use a metric system, it's like 357 kilometers an hour. I'm trying to tell you it's pretty strong and it's pretty fast, but by far and away its greatest attribute is the fact that it is the most versatile helicopter of all time. With over 50 variants, there is quite Jesus. literally a Black Hawk for everything. You need to bring good guys to the battlefield? There's a Black Hawk for that. You need to erase bad guys off the battlefield? There's a Black Hawk for that. You need to do a combination of both? There's also a black hawk for that you want to strategically transfer some equipment to an alternate location the black hawk <laughs> can do that too you need to lay <laughs> fucking mines there is a black hawk for that this help that is bro i think it, it's just shooting mines at the side there is a black hawk for that dude it, it's it's like a crop duster for mines just laying a minefield that is wild that is awesome also Kind of terrifying because I would not want to be anywhere near that fucking thing, but this helicopter can literally do fucking everything. Obviously, I don't have enough time in like a three to five minute video to cover all 50 variants, so I'm just gonna highlight some of my personal favorites. All right, so to start off, we'll hit the most common troop transport. In addition to the four crew members, it can carry up to 11 grunts fully kitted up and ready for battle. I didn't realize Utilizing they were that a big. Technique known as fast roping that can put these grunts pretty much anywhere on the battlefield, on top of a roof, on a fucking boat. Why not? Roof. I'm trying to tell you if the grunts are in a Black Hawk, they're not gonna try they're gonna reach you about your car's scam extended likely warranty. and that's just if you're dealing with a couple of black hawks you might be dealing with an entire air assault operation from the 101st where they come over the horizon with 50 of them oh god why does this look so fun man all i'm thinking of is like fortunate sun playing although i guess that probably wouldn't have been the black hawk back then how long has the black hawk been in service what were they using in nom familiar i've seen this somewhere <laughs> Moving on to the next one, the DAP, which stands for Direct Action Penetrator. Yeah, pretty simple concept. They just filled it with Jesus. Guns. This thing can carry up to 16 Hellfire missiles, Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, Hydro rocket, and that bombs, is a sleek as well as guns looking. on the arms that the pilots can fire. Then you've got a door gunner on each side. Maybe they have an M250 cal. Maybe they have the M134 minigun. Or if you're really unlucky, maybe they have the 50 caliber minigun. Technically, it's not even a minigun. That gun is so fucking big, it's just considered a Gatling gun. Which <laughs> makes a lot of sense because if you get hit with a gun shooting 1,300 rounds of 50 cal per minute at you, the only thing that's going to be mini is whatever's left of your carbon footprint. And then we have my <laughs> personal favorite, the Pave Hawk. Designed for combat search and rescue, it is the ultimate medevac. Equipped with an extra gas tank as well as the ability to aerial refuel, it has state-of-the-art everything. From a Man, is there anything that the, in the U.S. that isn't able to aerial refuel at this point? I, th I feel like every video we watch on one of the planes, I mean, they didn't mention it in the Crop Duster plane video. That thing probably can't air refuel. I, I shouldn't even say that. It probably can. It's like brand new electronics to search and rescue equipment it also has two door gunners typically rocking the m134 miniguns the pave hawk is a shining example of just how versatile the black hawk is other helicopters like the chinook can carry troops in and out of battle and helicopters like the apache can carry plenty of firepower into the battle but with the exception of the black hawk there is no helicopter that excels at doing both thanks for watching best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com quack bang out man so how long has this thing been in operation what were they using in NOM? I'm gonna check that out real quick. Black Hawk helicopter. That thing wouldn't have been a NOM, would it? Uh, where, uh, it was developed in '72. I guess, NOM was still going on then, right? NOM ended in '73. 
When did the Vietnam War end? 75. Okay. So yeah, that thing actually would have been in Nam. Okay. So yeah, he needs some fortunate sun playing. Man, it's honestly, it's kind of crazy how long some of these things stay in operation for. But I, I guess the you know if if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.